Fuck. Don't think I'll ever get used to this. Hmm. Why hasn't he replied to anything? Like joining in and tell them right. Shit, got a pack too. And I gotta stop talking to you. New Johnny Spence. Got a bit of time. Think I'll manage to swing by and visit you. Not much, but I'm all right with that. Gonna need a ride. Steve. Gotta talk to Steve. Richard. It's Richard Knight. I built, built this fucking city. Open, open up. Hey. Hey, guy. What's up, Chum? Because I got that new album from Curse These Metal Hands. First four tracks? Preen. Genius. Bet you didn't get that shiner all by yourself. Um. Old man. Yeah, forgot to wake him up. He was late getting to work. I mean, I guess I kind of deserved it. You forgot it happens. No reason to hit you. Hmm. What about you? What's up? Been practicing those chord progressions. Yeah, but I keep botching them. I doubt I'll ever play it smooth. Practice, Chumba. You'll get it in the end. Eventually, you won't even have to think about it. 
You'll just feel the flow. Been working on another song. Want to hear it? Later, maybe. Kind of in a hurry now. Need wheels and a good driver for the day. A couple of things in town I got to take care of. No problem. I'll take you. My mom wigs out when I don't tell her I'm leaving. But it's not like she can hear me when I try to warn her. You ready? Hey, so when I play a lot, my fingers hurt. What do I do to stop them? You don't. Metal strings cut into your fingertips, make them sore. Just how it is. Oh, don't worry. Play long enough and you get calluses. Start hitting What do you think you're doing, you little shit? Going out. Where? Uh, just out for a sec. Be back soon. Back inside, now! I'm not about to let you go out, do who knows what, you hear? What the fuck? fuck? Sake, you swipe my keys again? Inside. Now, you shit. Hey, relax. What the fuck you want? Why so tense? Steve's helping me out. He'll be back in two hours. Tops. Chill. I decide when the punk comes, goes, what he does. Not you. He won't come back empty handed. Two hours. And you hand me those eddies as soon as you come through the door. All right, Dad. Fucker. Who the hell's that? Who the fuck knows? Another tramp, all look the same to me. Probably Don't have to pay me, you know. I know, but dear dad's gonna want those heads. Sure he is, but I know how to cobble some together myself. Hop in. Why can't we draw a weapon? He doesn't have any weapon. Nothing. Where are you gonna get the scratch? Promise you won't tell? Merc's honor. Mrs. Juarez pays me to clean her place, but I don't gotta do anything. It's already clean. Think she's lonely. Just wants someone to talk to. Could very well be true. Where to? Time machine. Nice! Saw Carrie Uridine there once. You a fan? Of the legend? Of course I am! Why? Aren't you? Carrie's alright. Heard something on the radio about Carrie using Silverhand's death, writing that to fame. Can't do much about media vultures. Got shit for brains, especially the ones who cover music. Carrie's a damn good musician. That's all that counts. The real deal always has been in every way. God, makes it sound like you know him. Cause I do. I'm gonna be a musician someday too. Gotta start scribing songs then. You'll get good with practice like anything else worth doing. The sooner you start, the better. Got a few tunes in my head already. Preem. Lyrics don't come easy, though. I come up with anything. Seems like it's already been done, or it just sounds stupid. Kind of don't really know what to write about. Be honest. Only ever write the truth. Especially when it comes to your feelings. I don't get how I could lie about my feelings. Don't write love songs if you're not head over heels. Don't write sad sex shit just because you think there's beauty and sadness. Uh, okay. When something really hits you in the gut, that's when you sit down and write. Make your dad. The truth's elusive. Sometimes music's the only way to grasp it. <gasps> Skip the right. We have arrived. <laughs> 25 hours out of seven. 25 or seven. There's an extra hour in Night City. Preem, hang here a minute. Nah, I'm coming in. Flip through the new releases. Oh, this is that store. I traded a lot of, like, 
crafted weapons here. What can I do for you? Heard Carrie mm -hmm. Uridine pops by once in a while. Probably nothing new. Best music we'll store in Night City. Everybody pops by occasionally. Know why else they come? No, but got a feeling I'm about to find out. I don't snoop on customers. Don't keep no record. And I don't run my mouth. So, how can I help you? Looking for a six string, electric. Feast your eyes. I want something solid and true. What, and they're not? Which one should I go for? Rattle on the low E, cause the next boat. Nothing a screwdriver won't fix. Most important thing is the pickups. Guitarist gotta have something decent there. Don't give half a fuck how it looks. Okay. Cheap clunker is made out of shit plywood that itself was made out of unseasoned veneers. Still playable. Just gotta know how. No offense, but I'm looking for a real instrument. And willing to pay real money. Ah, oh, should have said so. Come on, let's go out back. I'm coming too. Sure, you might learn something. Okay, this no options. Whoa! To the Fucking right awesome. and left, the latest chromatics and Hendersons. Vintage axes in the back. Tensor Paradise. This a replica? Real as you or me. Gotta be over a hundred years old. Double humbucker, neck screwed in, not glued. A beauty. Classic. Perfectly balanced, too. Barely needs holding. I'll go with the blue one, I think. May I? Of course. Strum away. Best day ever. I'ma let you two play around in here alone. Else those savages out front will clean out half the store. Never ever heard anyone play Silverhand like that. You know, I read he never took any lessons. Chum was totally self-taught, made up his own style. How do you do that? I mean, sound just like him. <sighs> Good ear, kid. No one can imitate Silverhand's style. But you did. I just heard you. Obviously got a bit of him in me. Or a lot. Maybe I am Johnny. But how? Johnny'd be like 80 million years old. And you're like, way too young. You know, this is just a body. How the dice landed for me. Ultimately, I am who I am. <laughs> yeah, right. Chum, you're a bigger psycho fan than I am. Still haven't explained how you do it. Don't worry about that. Just come up with your own style, and all you need for that is practice. And talent. Talent you got. Really? You think so? I just don't say things I don't think are true. Not anymore. Best day ever. Fuck! My hands are shaking. So it's a style. Rockers are rebels. They always speak their minds. 
Tried once with my dad, you know. Didn't go so well. In time, you'll learn who you really are, what you really want from the world. I don't understand. Want to be a real rebel? Got to be yourself first. Be authentic. Rebels are made, not born. Made from the punches life throws at them. The punches they take. You know, you're weird. But I like you anyway. Huh. You're all right, kid. Gonna play some more? Nah, short on time. Let's pay. Delta out of here. I'll and take it. Excellent choice. Glad to see she'll be in, uh, in good hands. Help you with anything else? No thanks. That's it? Just 5,000? Here you go. See ya. Let's Delta. Still got some biz to take care of. Did he sell all my cars or something? I mean, he didn't because I don't have the money. So many cars, man. What for? All right, let's roll. Sure thing. Where to? The cemetery. You got it. So Han Hanako didn't die in this ending? My dad says there's gonna be another Cope War. Liable to jump at each other's throats any day now. Think it's true? Think there'll be another war? Asking the wrong guy. Got no interest in the topic. Couldn't care less to be honest. Know why? Why? Cause I realized I don't have to. Got a friend who lives around here. Where? Can't see it from here. Just saying. He a good friend of yours? Invited me over to his house once. His mom made lunch. Then we went and hung out on the bridge. I like driving through here. It's nice. City looks alive. Um, because everyone's out walking around? Not what I mean. It's like we created a monster and never even noticed when it started to eat us alive. <laughs> like Frankenstein? Frankenstein's monster, you mean. You know what, you're right. It is nice out here. Never been out this way? No, I have. Just never noticed. Never had time to just sit down and watch. City slipped through my fingers, just sped right by. Passed underfoot, overhead, and I can't even say when it happened. Gonna write a song about it? Maybe. Nice pendant. Looks good on you. Just a keepsake. 
Oh. Uh, belong to someone important? Yeah. Someone Some... really important. What are you gonna do with it? Put it back where it belongs. Can I come with? You can take your shit back and force it on Wait here, okay? Won't be long. Okay. Any fast travel? No, we can't. I am plans gone too. Oh, they are there, but they are not usable. Can't use the double jump. to now hey hey what's this one one gave all that up so should you bad for your body bad for your soul where to now me nowhere but you better get home Steve thanks The person you just, uh, visited, he died a while ago? Not that long ago. You miss him? A little, yeah. When my grandpa died, I missed him a lot. But now I only miss him sometimes. Mm. Bye, Steve. We've got no future, but you do. <sighs> hmm. Would have been nice if we drove away, actually. to society. I feel bad for Pan Am though, in this ending. She lost everything just so that we could live, but that's why I didn't choose her the first time.
it's that glitch again where the characters don't speak and the subtitles come Straight to voicemail again? What's going on with you, eh? Lose your tongue or what? I see. I know I wanted to tell you I'm I'm cooking a supper on Sunday for Jackie's birthday. Molly's favorite food. <laughs> Chilaquiles, tamales. If I could get some real corn, oh, maybe even a lote. <laughs> It'd be nice if you could come over. Think about it. Cuídate, amorcito. Take care, now. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> this is the same that was in the star ending. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks for everything. Wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right. Enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Really? You're just gonna avoid me? Of course you would, you fucking coward. Here's a bit of advice for you, Johnny. Enjoy your new lease on life, because it's not gonna last long. I'm serious. Believe me when I say I'm going to find you, you fucking psychopath. Wherever you're hiding. And when I do, I'm gonna rip V out of your head. Don't ask me how, but so far I'm counting on sheer will. You know what you are, Johnny? A parasite. A fucking tapeworm! You hear me? Enjoy the little time you have left. <laughs> I don't like this ending. V. Hey. Christ. That run. This is also the same. My heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we walk through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Got your message. Johnny, look, I've been around long enough to know that anything is possible in your fucked up world. But I never imagined this, even from you. You must have made a pretty big impression on V for getting him on board with this, so hats off. I'm just wondering how you feel about that, Johnny. Having another person give their life for you. Especially when you're probably just back to all-nighters and cheap tequila, laughing at how stupid he was. Or has your conscience finally learned its lesson? That is, if you've even got one. Good luck out there, Johnny. And don't ever come back to Night City. Hey, V, so funny thing just happened. Oh, fuck. Funny this is also shit. the same. Voicemail again. Do you ever answer the phone? Like ever? Seriously. I can get through to data term customer service faster than you. What did I even... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that us cracks agent called me and asked if I would go on tour with them. At first, I was like, over my dead fucking body. But then I thought, hey, wait. I could actually be fun. So, uh, what else? Well, there's the latest gossip for you, if you even care. Call me back when you can, okay? Peace out. V, hey. So, here's the thing. A couple fellas from the 5th Precinct busted a shop selling illegal iron. Sawed-offs, stun guns, mustard gas canisters. 
orders from on up were to blow it all to the ground. But then I thought, maybe there's a better way to use all this stuff for a good cause. I still remember what you did for us, for me and Randy. The city needs more people like you. And I'm gonna make sure they're equipped. This one's on me, V. See you around. Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote to say a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some are truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rotten hell. Rot in hell. Xero. Hey, V. Jefferson Peral is here. You know, mayor of Night City. I'm calling about our recent program to tackle homelessness. What would you say about being the head of my security detail, huh? As you know, the number of people I can trust are few and far between. Next week, we're going to be raising the city's taxes. So, things might get a little hairy. Come by. We'll hammer out a good deal for you. <coughs> I'm no any pincher when it comes to safety. All right. Well... We'll be in touch, V. That's it. Oh. Hey, V. Sorry to bother you. I know you're a busy man and everything. But, well, I was wondering how you were doing, so I laid out a quick tarot and... Oh, dear. The hanged man. The magician. Oh, this is a The friend. star. Those... Those are not good cards, V. They're really bad. They're something like death, but not quite. Take care of yourself, okay? Well, I hope to hear from you soon. Cause we lost everything. We had to pay the price. On to the next.